Hello, we've got another unboxing to do. So uh, let's get on with it, see what we've got this time. Let's see if it's as well packaged as the last box I got. I've already removed the incriminating label, but you can see it's an eBay. Oh, that's pretty well packaged, I think, so far. Let's just hope the rest of it is inside. Oh, look at this, what we got here. Hmm, well, you can tell what that is, can't you? There's two of them. Very yellow. Cool, it's good. It's got actual, uh, I'm assuming that's Japanese on it. Oh, this has been well loved. Super Famicom. Two controllers. Apart from being filthy in yellow, they look like they're in pretty good condition. Yeah, lovely in yellow. I've had a SNES before. Oh, still had a bit of power in there. Did you see the light go on? <laughs> Just discharge that. I've had a SNES before, uh, but never a Super Famicom. What's this? It's got a, like a port there. Right, so we've got it's multi out and RF out and DC in. Now, I'm gonna have to find some cables that are gonna work with this. It has been sold to me as working, so with a bit of luck it will be. <laughs> we'll be back in a bit and we'll find out. So we're going to give this a test. It's very mucky and everything, but I want to just give it a quick test before I do anything else and I'm going to give it a clean up. Now, luckily, Super Famicoms, uh, if you've got an original Mega Drive, you know, a PAL, like a PAL Mega Drive PS, PSU will work with this and I happen to have one of those so um, it's got the same PAL requirements so it should work. Let's get it all hooked up. I've found out that these are uh, these games that came with it I think they're called Crayon Shin-chan um, I think they're a Japanese cartoon or something like that Japanese property so uh, Never heard of them, but we'll give it a test and see what it what it comes out like. For the purposes of the test, I've uh, got myself a cheap um, Super Nintendo AV composite cable. Now these will output RGB. You can get RGB cables, uh, but the I believe I'm correct to say that the NTSC uh, Famicoms and the NTSC Super Nintendo use a different cable to the PAL for the RGB so be careful if you're buying yourself one for your machine make sure you get the right one because uh, apparently it can cause damage or something like that or at least it won't give you much of a decent picture so be careful right let's get this hooked up TV on we'll try one of these So let's get it onto the right NTSC. It works. We'll give it a try. I have I have no idea what I'm doing.
Okay. Well, we know it works, so I'm gonna get this, give it a bit of a clean up and see how it comes out. Okay, so we've got the uh, Famicom here. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna try and get it apart to give it a bit of a clean. I don't like cleaning stuff with liquids when it's uh, still all in one piece. Now for, you, for Nintendo stuff, you're gonna need one of these uh, Nintendo bits, uh, you can get them on eBay for a few quid because they're all special uh, special bits. So it uh, looks like we've got six um, screws, for want of a better word. So uh, let's get these out. Alright, screws are out, so let's see what we can do. Come straight off. Yeah, it's going to need a bit of a clean. Uh, lots of dust in there. Other than that, it's not in too bad condition, to be fair. Okay, so the pieces are nice and clean, or as clean as I can get them, uh, and I'm pretty sure they're nice and dry as well. I've not retro brighted or anything like that, I haven't got, really got time for that, and to be honest, yes it's a bit yellow, but, you know, I'm not too, too concerned about that. It adds a bit of character. So, I'm going to try and put this, hopefully, back together the way it was, if I can remember how it went. Lots of little fiddly bits, uh, and we'll see what it looks like at the end. So I've also got the uh, controllers, I've given those a, a good clean up. So uh, we're just going to wait for these to dry, and I'll put these back together. Okay, these are back together now, so uh, let's give it another test and see, hopefully the whole thing is still working. <laughs> Okay, it's all back together, so now uh, we're going to test it again. I've got a better game to test with this time, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Now this is the game I originally bought a Super Nintendo for back in the day and um, I had to get it again <laughs> as one of the first games I've ever bought for it. So um, yeah, so I'm, now I've got a Fami Super Famicom so it should play a little bit quicker as well. So let's give this a test, see. If I put it all back together correctly and it's not going to blow up, hopefully. Yay!
I also picked up this handy device. Um, obviously having a Super Famicom, it'll play Super Famicom Japanese titles and it'll also play um, US SNES titles. Obviously the, so the slot is a different shape and the machine is a totally different shape. So that's the, the way it stops you from importing or well, back in the day it stopped you from importing stuff from the United States on your Japanese Famicom. Now I picked up one of these little devices which is quite handy uh, and it's a universal adapter so that plugs into the console uh, you plug in your the game you want to play in there and that's your donor so you plug in a game you want to play in there and that's your donor slot there so you put a donor game in there to play um, let you play other regions. So obviously for the US it will act as a pass through uh, for US games so I don't have to modify this and I can also use it for PAL games so I can put my PAL games in, in the top there and um, have the donor card in the back. And I've got these games that came with it are perfect to be a donor, donor game for this so that basically just slots in there and it'll detect the region of the donor the donor game. Yeah, it slots into there. This slots into the machine. And then your game you want to play goes on here. Obviously it's going to work fine with, with this because it's already a Japanese game. But as I to show you it will pass it through. So if I get some NTSC US cards carts for this, I won't have a problem playing those with that. So I'm very chuffed with this. It's going to keep me entertained for a long time. Hopefully I can pick up a few games that are relatively cheap. They're easier to uh, to find in Japan. Obviously there's tons of Japanese um, SNES games that are a lot cheaper than the PAL and a lot of the US um, versions. So um, it's ideal really. Yes, there'll be a few that are probably got some translation issues, but the majority of the sort of games I'm going to play on here are going to be arcade type stuff or... Street Fighter, that sort of stuff, so it shouldn't be a problem with that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, I hope that was interesting. Um, I'm slowly building up my uh, collection of mach machines and systems, and you know, one, one at a time. <laughs> so I hope that was interesting for you, and I will see you next time. So please, if you like the video, give it a, give it a thumbs up, and uh, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this machine. And um, I'll speak to you next time, so until next time, goodbye.